What's up, YouTube? This is Courtney Coonan Steamer, January the 25th. I got my one of my good, good buddies that I've been knowing for about a couple of years now. He's one of the great members of Cleanest Cleanest Connect, Fred Hayes. <laughs> and anytime he comes to Georgia, he do a ride along with me. So he's riding with me on my uh, my uh, last two jobs of the day. So this customer right here, she came off the next door. Uh, we came to clean the carpets, but she added the tile and grout in the bathroom. So what I like to do when I do jobs like this, when it's a carpet and a tile job, I like to go ahead and get the tile out the way. So like I was just telling Fred, anytime I clean tile and grout, I don't use an acidic rinse. I just use plain water. Um, and then when I'm done cleaning the tile and grout, we have an air mover that we're going to put on the grout. And that this floor will be completely dry by the time we leave. Um, and guys, another thing too you have to remember, certain uh, customers like this, she had a bad experience with uh, her last two cleaners. So she said, I came highly recommended off her next door. Um, this is the kind of community that she lives in. And you have to remember, some customers are not going to go on the internet. Some customers are not going to go on Facebook, social media. Uh, certain customers just ask their neighbors. Uh, so that's a good way, guys, to get recommendations. Because these customers will start spreading your name around the neighborhood. And it's a very, very good way to get exposed and have your community saying good things about you. This XX7, I love the two, but when you hook it up to the one, the Gecko one, it's a little trick. You got to kind of lean it so it doesn't leave a lot of overspray. Because if you pop it like this, like this, and you start to clean, leave too much overspray. So it's a certain way you got to hold it. But I love to clean it by hand. But since I had to get it some tight corners, I just uh, kept it on the uh, one. So these carpets are not bad. Uh, the last cleaning company she said she used, uh, that she said they did a uh, dry compound. Uh, they basically use the, uh, not encapsulation cleaning, but the dry compound cleaning. I uh, forgot what they, what they call that stuff again. Well, dry compound, it looked like, like, uh, uh, what's that stuff? I got some at my house. It looked like sand. And uh, she said she remember how he did it, and she said she didn't like that method. And that's why she never called uh, that company back. So this is number two of three today. All right, guys, so just show you the carpets. These are the carpets doing a total of four areas, three rooms, and a flight of stairs. So Fred went on to put the fan on the tile and grout. That floor's gonna, like I said, is gonna be completely dry by the time we're done. So I'm about to go back to the van now and turn the rinse on. So we got the tile and grout clean. Hi. Now I'm gonna use that for the stairs, to clean the stairs, yep. So we got that done. And then these two rooms right here. Not moving any furniture. Just going straight around. Uh, so that's it, guys. So uh, just got to doing the tile and grout. Like I said, she added that on upon arrival. All right, go ahead and uh. Turn the rinse on. Beautiful day today. <laughs> 